Hi everyone, my name is Eric and I'd like to show you a few things on Sonar, Sonar X3, which is my favorite uh, multi-track recorder. I'd like to show you a few things regarding automation today and what automation really means is that when you're when you can see the fader is moving like this one on the right here on the left here and when this is done automatically because at the moment I'm doing this with my uh, mouse but when you record the movement this is called automation and then you don't have to do it again it's done once and for all so you can do this for tracks you can do this for little clips inside the track. You can do this for buses as well, for effects, uh, for groups of faders, for for soft synths, uh, literally almost everything. And I'd like to show you the uh, two most common types of automation, which is uh, pan and volume. Pan, pan is panoramic, which means from left to right in a stereo environment, when you can uh, send one sound to uh, the left or to the right and volume as you understand is uh, just um, bring the volume down or bringing the volume up for a particular a particular sound so I'd like to do this by just clicking on this here and if you um, look at this here I can open this window which is the automation lane I could actually have this um, this volume um, uh, automation envelope I can have it on the track but it's a lot easier if I have it uh, below the track it's nicer and it's uh, easier to work with so there are different ways of doing this one way is I have clicked on this draw freehand button and I can just decide to well draw that's it there you go I am drawing my envelope so the volume will go up and down that's easy now I'm undoing this I can also uh, click here and add a nod a nod is just a little spot and when I have added a few nods nodes sorry you can see that one way of using them is by grabbing this here and bringing it down you see by doing this I can move. Uh, that's a bit different. It's more precise sometimes. So um, every time you want to change something after this, well, you just right click and there you go. You have a lot of uh, different uh, elements. So I can change the curve, for example. That's very visible. I can add a, a node. I can uh, erase a node. I can delete it or I can reset it to where it was before. Um, I can clear everything and there you go. Now say I want to add another uh, automation. Well, I'll just click on plus here and I have another one and I can choose the different kinds of automation that I want. And this time I'm going to choose pan and it works exactly in the same way. I can draw the panoramic like this so it will go from right to left when I play it there you go I am undoing this um, and I can also uh, actually add uh, an effect here you see that's very easily done um, but I'm afraid we don't have the time for that maybe next week when we talk about effects uh, right that was quite short I think that was very easy I hope you liked it so thank you very much for your attention and thanks for your feedback bye